Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 2. Alright, when we left off, we uh, were on our way uh, out of the little uh, camp there, and we are, well, out of, well, we, where we were raised in that little camp there, and we're going to find out what it means to be a hero, which means we have to go all the way over here. Where we have a little guild seal to open this up here. Oh, first things first. I saw a silver key. Up, up, up. There we go. Perfect. And now I can open that up. There we go. Unlock. Hell yeah. Beautiful. All right, that opens the way into the old tomb. Which will be a kind of, sort of, hub <laughs> for our inevitable uh, learning. Our dog is scared. Oh, no. Uh, which, which is the one? Yeah, that's the one. There we go. Okay, hold RB to see all the expressions you can use. Oh yeah, that's far better than a... It's a far better menu than the old... Uh, f uh, Don't be loud. I'm, I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. Okay. You'll need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Alright. Fair enough. Ooh. Well, I'm, he I'm hoping it'll break my fall. Okay. And uh, it's far better than Fable One's setup, is what I was trying to say. But I am, I am uh, very sleepy and very stressed. I have very little time to record this. Okay, and up we go. Perfect. Vault down here. Good shit. All right, now we got to move forward. Oh jeez. Giant beetles. That's not good. Who the hell makes giant beetles? Come on now. There we go. And that was easy. Okay. The numbers that appear after you collect experience show how much of strength, skill, will, and general experience you have. So it's really the same sort of setup that it used to be in Fable 1, just an easier way to collect it. More or less. I mean, sometimes it's a little annoying, but Those nonetheless, it's doable. The knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Yep. That we know. Alright, onward we go. Whoa, treasure! What do you mean, treasure? Oh, another silver key. Man, I'm just swimming in them today. Holy shit. It means he's found something. Well, that's usually a good sign. But he's, uh... Trying to tell me, hey, hey, over here, motherfucker. Okay. It's the structural supports that are not exactly structurally sound themselves. Oh, geez. Okay, you, I did not expect them to jump up like that. It's far easier just to use the crossbow for that. Oh, hello. Okay, well, fuck you then. Well, shit. Outstanding fight. Bonus experience. That's always great. That's always great when you're able to get that. Alright, what do we got over here? A couple, uh, coffins, it looks like, that have been opened. That's not good. And that. It's hard to tell. Can I open that? Yeah! Okay. Beautiful. Got a treasure chest, which is always nice to get. Thanks for eventually noticing, dog. <laughs> Alrighty. An inexpensive but lovely gem. It was said to be a favorite among Old Kingdom maidens, but the recent discovery of large deposits has lowered its value. Well, that's, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Alrighty. And we've got a... That's a little flit switch there. You'll have to shoot the switch to go any further. Alrighty. Perfect. If A appears when facing a ledge, it means the jump is safe. Okay, that's nice to know. 
up, up, uh, okay. If it doesn't appear, that means it's not safe. And I would hurt myself if I tried. Good shit. The treasure chest. And inside. Rusty mace. Better than your rusty longsword, but it's also slower. As crude and ugly as it is effective, one can imagine this mace being wielded by the very first men to walk upon this world. Uh, it's... If it's rusty, that means it's iron, so probably not. Just saying. Oh, jeez. Okay. You want to play this game, then? I'll play this game. There we go. And the one thing I like about this game, the targeting system is far better, and it does it by itself. That's the most beautiful thing about this game. There we go. Hello. Shit. There we go. And outstanding fight. Now if I remember, the roll is... I don't remember what button the roll is. Okay. Uh... Shit. I don't remember. Okay. I don't even think there was a roll in the second one. Now I think about it. Alright. Time for a little swim. Be sure to explore the world around you. Follow the glowing trail is extremely useful. But there is much to find off the beaten path. Sure, why not? Let's do a little exploring. We can go over here. Why not? We're going to find a very hilarious story. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this guy. Brendan's Diary. This appears to be a page from an explorer's diary recording the details of an expedition into this cave. Because he figured, why not try to loot a old tomb? Why not? Okay. Third day. My hand is shaking from exhaustion, but I must remain vigilant. I almost nodded off last night as we camped around the fire, but still managed to keep an eye on Eric and Drake. I've seen the greedy glimmer in their eyes. They mean to make the treasure theirs. Perhaps it is time to make use of this poison. Oh my. And I think there was another one over on this side. Yep. There he is. Eric's letter. This unposted letter was written by a member of an expedition of treasure hunters, the ones that were in here. Dearest Harriet, our voyage into the entrails of Bower Lake has taken a turn for the worst. I can only hope you sur I, I can only hope I survive to see daylight again. You were right about Brenton and Drake. They are selfish brutes, conspiring behind my back, plotting my murder so that they can keep the treasure for themselves. But fear not, my love, for I plan to poison their water supplies while they sleep. Soon we shall be rich. Feverishly yours, Eric. So, teamed Eric and Brendan had the exact same thought process. When we find Drake, we might need to uh, see what he was thinking. But, uh, that requires a little travel further on. And... Oh, there he is. I assume... Drake's suicide note. On this tattered piece of paper are the last words of one Drake Morton, explorer and treasure hunter. A man can only be pushed so far before he breaks. Five nights without sleep while those villains scheming behind my back, losing a foot to a giant beetle, that never-ending attack of hiccups. Well, it was all worth it, for I have found it. Yes, the treasure is mine. Who knows what great hero made use of this magical gem. All I know is that neither Brendan nor Eric will ever get their hands on it. I am planning to poison them both tonight. And I'm throwing this gem into the lake and poisoning myself too. Just in case. Nobody makes a fool out of Drake Morton. Except Drake Morton. Alright. I guess. I guess. Well, the gem's in the lake, so... There we go. Let's dive for that. Bewitching Augment. Ooh. This is a magical augment which will make you more attractive without the need for cosmetic surgery. To gain its benefits, attack the 
attach the augment to a weapon with empty augment slots. Okay. You can attach augments to some weapons to make them more powerful, which is a thing that was in the uh, first game as well. Use your chosen augment in the item screen to attach it to an item. Be warned, once attached, you won't be able to remove it. And in this game, that's actually technically false. Uh, there is a tool you can pick up from one of the DLCs, which does make it possible to remove augments. I just don't remember where you get it. I honestly don't remember. But, well, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. I'm sure of that. Alright, up we go. Back up, because I needed to go after that uh, stone. Vault again. Get down. Ah. Excuse me, I'm a little burpy today. I, I tried to down the coffee that I need to take all in one go. There we go. Really? Okay. There we Those go. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Teresa, we went over this. Thank you, though, for uh, trying to keep me informed. Oh, jeez. God damn it. I, <laughs> all that coffee in one go does not let my body uh, have a rest. i tell you that much. Oh, shit. I, I would have figured there would have been a treasure in this big old room, but no. No, of course not. Not when I'm expecting it. Okay, that was beautiful. Hey! Outstanding fight! 187 bonus. Alrighty. And uh, I earned enough for a level up into some skill. I can't really do that yet. But it is available to me. How much is known? Okay, there we go. Whoa. What was that? Okay, come on. There we go. I think that was 225. Damn. I think for those particular enemy types, they have a spitting attack that looks purple. So that might have been what it was. I don't right remember. Well, yep, that's what they do. That's what they do. I just saw that. Hello, got another up. Aha. Fuck you. All right, outstanding fight. Thank you. I thought it was great. And... Oop. I gotta do another ranged weapon thing. Up, oh. ha ha. Come on. There we go. And hitting that flip switch as many times. Got the door to open. There we go. And now, I can move forward. Beautiful. Keep on going, keep on moving. Ooh, there's things over here. No, no, that doesn't work. Alright, so it's a little further on then. Okay, I know there's a treasure over here. I know there's a treasure. They do not add this long a detour unless there's treasure nearby. Uh-oh. And there's also enemies because of course there is. There we go. Aha! Man, I am getting level ups up the storm. Well, kind of level ups. There we go. And I am phasing through the barrel, but that's okay. I'm getting money bags. 150 gold. That's not bad at all. Oh, he found another treasure. He has found another treasure. And I think I know where he's talking about. Ah, deepest Lorenzo. I was a little overzealous there. <laughs> and what do we got over here? Children's health potion. It's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, I'm pretty sure there should. Oh, hey, I was about to say there. Sh I'm pretty sure there's the up. There should be books that I should be able to get, and I found them. Okay, the end is almost nigh. This is a collection of predictions and doom mongerings from the mystic and soothsayer Arthur Dandelion. 
His more cryptic visions, such as one about two brothers of little wit who shall release howling death upon a town of blood. We'll see that one in a moment. Have invited speculation and much shrugging of soul of shoulders. What? Why do I keep fucking fucking up that word? <laughs> it must be because my shoulders are fucked up, which makes me fuck up the word shoulders. <laughs> Among his other prophecies is the one that foresees the invention of a machine that will aid in the cleaning of soiled garments. Washing machines. His most famous warning is the one that predicts the end of the world. According to Dandelion, it will not come suddenly, but the ground shall shake and the past shall erupt into the present in the most bloody manner. Though perhaps a strange being shall transform into a dragon and lay waste to all that lives long all the long time before that happens. What do I know? This isn't an exact science. I was, I was having to make sure I read that right and then the last line. Uh, at least he admits he's a wackadoodle. Okay, what do we got here? A tattered spire. This rare book has a stain of time upon its pages. It tells of the fall of the old kingdom and what many scholars believe was the catalyst of its destruction. The tattered spire. It is said that the construction of the spire was ordered by the last Archon, and that it was to be a conduit for all the will in the world. The power it would command would be so great, reality itself might be shaped by anyone who used it. On the day of its completion, the Archon entered the spire, and the kingdom's subjects awaited what would be his first wish. Whatever that wish was, the outcome was a wave of energy so vast, it laid waste to the entire kingdom. Was this truly the Archon's wish? To erase a corrupt world so that a fresh one might rise in its place? It's entirely possible. And we can dream, can't we? Alright. What do we got here? The Hero of Oakvale. Which is our guy. Our guy in the first one. This is one of many books written about the Hero of Oakvale, who defeated the dreaded Jack of Blades. Though there are many conflicting reports regarding the Hero's life and his feats, all accounts agree that he wielded the legendary Sword of Aeons against Jack and slew him twice, one in Jack's human form and again in the form of a dragon. Which, that was what I should have expected. <laughs> Among his many other accomplishments are his victory in the Witchwood Arena, the slaying of the White Balverine, and the freeing of the Prophets of the Fireheart. Though any official records of his possible offspring would have been destroyed in the civilian attack on the Heroes Guild, it is believed that his bloodline continued, and that one day a new hero would emerge to save Albion in its time of need. Which would be me! Alright, is there any other books? Nope. No other books I'm missing. Perfect. Onward we go! Now we gotta go back onto the beaten path, which we strayed very far from. Nothing in this, really? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. And... Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. Yep. And this big old stone bridge For centuries, fall at any this time. academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here, and that same heroic blood flows through you. Look around at these walls. Your forebear, one of the mightiest heroes who ever lived. At a young age, he suffered a devastating loss from which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, he fought back. He grew strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. Step into the light. Learn the true power of heroes. Your blood is awakening. <laughs> As now cheesy, channel I'll be the honest. experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. 
Will yeah. gives you control over the forces of magic. Which we don't really have yet. Before you is a colour's gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. Yay! You need to learn a will ability to activate the colour's gate. And this one we get to choose, which is nice. You have an ex you have enough experience to buy a new ability. Press up on the ability screen now. You can access the screen at any time via the pause menu, which is nice. Look within yourself I can do that. and examine your innate abilities. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to do that next episode because, like I said, I'm a little strapped for time and I really should get going. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and making our way to the guild kind of underground thing. Because it's really in disrepair and it's really old for you.